Today I want to talk about my 1981 Ducati 500 SL Panta. By the end of the 70s, the Bevel Drive L Twin that had saved Ducati through the decade was getting long in the tooth. It was expensive to manufacture, difficult to maintain, and the constant influx of new machinery from Japan was leaving it technologically in the dust. Ducati's chief engineer, Fabio Taglioni, had an answer. He created the Panta. Whereas the bevel drive motors have a shaft with a bevel gear on the end that turns the camshaft, the Pantas have a rubber belt underneath those covers. That design is still used today on many Ducatis. Additionally, he created a trellis frame so that the engine was hung from this frame underneath it. That saved a lot of weight and added strength. There's a lot of Italian bits on this bike. You can see the Marzacci shocks, Marzacci forks, dual front Brembo's, mag wheels front and rear, Brembo on the rear. The carburation for the motor is Del Ordo. In fact, on this one, it's a 36 millimeter Del Ordo. That's the same as on the uh, Laverta 750 I talked about yesterday. That means it's carbureted pretty big for a 500. The exhaust is Conti and nicely shaped, nicely angled. And the styling was unique for the time. People would look at it and think, oh my gosh, that fairing's too big and that seat unit's too heavy. But as a package, it worked really well. You can see it's got Nippon Denso clocks, uh, switch gear, a nice instrument panel and kind of oddly the the choke is up here by the instruments it's geared very high and unlike the bevel drives which had a reputation for torque and being grunty while this is a torquey bike it's really revvy when you get used to keeping the revs up over 5,000 it really comes into its own this bike will cruise at 130 on the highway in fourth gear. If you shift into fifth, you're, you're going too fast all the time. But where it really shines is on the track. The handling is amazing. The bike just seems to flow through the corners uh, like few other bikes I, I own, maybe the Marini. Later on, it became a 600, and I think finally a 650, although I've never seen a 650. I have a 600 as well, and the 600 is noticeably faster and just as good handling. Overall, the bike weighs 430 pounds with a full tank of gas and all fluids. It's lovely looking. Most of the ones you'll see have been chopped for racing. That's what people use them for. You'll see two into one exhausts and different bodywork and attempts to make it lighter and faster. But I like this one just the way it is. It's all stock except for those bar end mirrors, which I've added. And it's got just 14,811 kilometers on it. Hope you like this video. Give me a like and a subscribe if you can. I'd appreciate it. And I'll talk to you later.